for our feature match. It's Canada versus Scotland. I look back at the second end. No score in the first. And last one for Brad Gushu. A hack weight, just trying to get to the nose. Missed the back one. And really well played, well managed. And it was a score of two. Canada lead 2 nothing after two. Third end, Canada leading 2 nothing. Line three, forcing Scotland to draw for one. Line's good. Bruce Mowat has to find the forefoot and he does it no problem. Score of one and Canada now lead 2 1 after three. Fifth end, Canada leading 2 1. A chance here to get a second score of two on the board. Just an open draw to the house, no problem for Brad Gushu. And Canada lead 4-1 after five ends. I look back, sixth end. Scotland with a hammer at this end, setting up nicely. Brad Gushu looking to lift a thin double, catches just the right amount. Perfect shot and lies three. Scotland, all they can do at this sixth end. They're 4-1 down. Canada line three. We have to draw for one. Have to be fully in the forefoot. Ah, nicely done. So score 4-2 to Canada after six. Eighth end, Canada leading 6-2. Bruce Mauer, a chance to score three, playing the hit and trying to punch the other red an inch to the side, but it over curls, doesn't get the other red away, so it's only a score of two. Last stone of the ninth end, Brad Gushu lying one, it is an open draw for two. And no problem. Two on the board to take an 8-4 lead. And Scotland call it a day. Brad, it's early in the week, but it uh, must be nice to get a win over one of your biggest rivals for the title this weekend, this time next weekend. Yeah, they're a team that you know they're going to be around at the end of the week. And with no tiebreakers, you know, a win against us really puts us two games ahead. So a big, big win. I thought our team played really well and controlled the game and, you know, quite happy with it. Yeah, your guys are, we're all in the 90s roughly, I think. Uh, but uh, talk us through those two big double tickets that you personally got. Yeah, that, you know, fortunately, Bruce left one a little short and left me a double in, in one of the ends, and I was able to execute it. Uh, let, a little later on, uh, you know, we were debating whether that was the right shot. So uh, when, you, when you have those debates, you need to make the shot you picked. And fortunately for us, we made it. Uh, you know, I felt like I was throwing the rock well today. I thought my team was throwing it real well as, as well, and that was giving me some really good reads where I knew, knew where to put the broom. Yeah, listening in on the microphone, you guys really talk through every shot. Uh, all four have input about weight and line, and that must, must make a huge help to you when you come to play. Yeah, I, we like all four players to be engaged in the strategy and the ice reading, and, you know, eight eyes are better than two, so that's, uh, that definitely helps. And, and they all have a ton of experience, too, in, in playing at this level and playing in big games. And, you know, if we're all dialed into the same shot, usually it's the right shot, and, and uh, we're often pretty close if we are. So a little bit of time off till tomorrow, I believe now. So. Yeah, it's nice. This is a tight turnaround. We're playing two yesterday and, and playing an extra end and then turn around playing today. So we got 24 hours off, which at this point we need. need. It's uh, still early in the week, but 24 hours is uh, a good time to rest. Good, well, well played today and uh, good luck for the rest of the week. Thank you. Top four. Sure. 